Alright bro look, today we are going to be looking at crashing out on a completely different level. Cause this man Peter Parker done lost his mind. The moment that symbiote got a hold of him, he became a completely different person. Bully Maguire is the greatest example of crashing out. After he got the symbiote, this man traumatized his best friend for stealing MJ, smacked the living daylights out of MJ, and this man somehow got negative riz and was scaring away the whole. Bully Maguire is an Avengers level threat, and that is the topic of today's video. Before we begin, don't forget to join the Discord if you want to have some absolutely stupid conversations, hilarious debates, and submit your suggestions for the next installment of Hate More. The link is in the description. In second, I made a GoFundMe for my boy Omi to help him out. If you are able to donate anything to help us reach our goal, I would appreciate that because I would love to have him edit for me again. And as I said in the last video, the top three donors will get to be a part of Hate More 10. You get to pick a hater, we will write you a script if you want us to, and you will be a feature on Hate More Part 10. So please help us out by donating whatever you can. The link will be in the description. First things first, this man is on a web in the middle of the forest with MJ just being horny. And somehow these two don't notice a meteorite landing near them. Like, bro, I don't care how down bad I am, bro. I think I would notice a, a rock falling from outer space. Anywho, this is when we meet the symbiote, and he proceeds to latch on to Peter's moped. So far, so good. Until he decides to bind to Peter's suit as he's having a nightmare. Not gonna lie, bro, I used to watch this movie so much as a kid, because it was the first superhero movie my parents bought for me. And this used to be so intriguing to me to see how the symbiote moves and latch on to his suit. And this scene of him on the skyscraper realizing he has a completely different suit on was great. Even though he didn't even question why his suit was now black. Now, you think this act of crashing out would take some time, right? Well, you couldn't be more wrong. The first thing this man does as he's wearing the symbiote is to go find Sandman and remove him from the senses. And on the way to doing that, he decides to be a complete asshat to Eddie. Destroys his camera for this man just asking for a picture. And then goes to the sewer to be a menace. Mans was in the dark, crawling on the ceiling like some horror movie character. Like, bruv, why are you doing this? If you're gonna attack the guy, just do it. You're, you're here to murk him anyway. After screaming at him, he kicks the shit out of Sandman and almost breaks this man's back. But since he's made of sand, I, I don't think his back can be broken unfortunately but hey peter don't care because he's on straight demon time and came back for round two and was promptly met with a foot up his i mean uh in his abdomen not gonna lie i love the swinging animation here because it shows you how he would actually swing and change his momentum anywho bro he kicks this man into the train and proceeds to shred his fucking face like bro if murder on my mind existed when this movie was being made bro that, that would have been his theme song sandman pushes him off and turns his ass into a ping pong ball with the train and for those of you who don't know spider-man's true strength i present this scene do you see how he punched this man in the mouth and like broke the sand? He can easily do this to somebody's jaw and punch it clean off. Spider-Man is holding his punches back 99% of the time. And that 1% when he's not, you should fear for your life. Anywho, they keep squabbling and tumbling down. And this man realizes that Sandman and water don't mix. Cause this nigga turns into mud man. And Peter immediately takes advantage of that. This scene is supposed to be serious, but I find it so fucking goofy. Cause every time a boat flies off, they zoom in into this nigga's face to show how terrified he is. Anywho, he proceeds to drown this man with the water. And then this villain sits there and watches it happen. Like bro, he made sure to supervise that shit to make sure he's dead. A couple minutes down. later, Peter becomes an emo. Emo Peter gets mad at his landlord for asking for his rent money for some odd reason and then tries to call MJ but she was busy doing something else. Harry calls her ass over to hang out and she pulls up. They start cooking cause she was hungry and as they're cooking they proceed to do the most trash damn thing I've ever seen. Look at this! What is this? This shit's ass! While they were busy ruining his floor, the butter starts burning. And Harry, trying to show off his cool wrist, tries to flip the egg over like this nigga was Gordon Ramsay or some shit. And he proceeds to fail! Brother, this guy stinks! MJ, realizing this nigga's not Gordon Ramsay, proceeds to skedaddle away. And then, oh no, Goblin Jr. gets mad and starts going literally insane, hearing his dad's voice in his head telling him to kill Peter. MJ, decides, with quotation marks, to break up with Peter. I put decide in quotations because Harry pulled up to her crib and forced her to do it. What I forgot to mention in the last part is Harry got his memories back and now he's acting like an ass just like Peter. Now, bear with me. The love of your life just told you that she broke up with you. And so you go to confide in your best friend. When you tell him this, he proceeds to tell you that he was with her last week. And then this nigga pulls the most devious disappearing act in any movie. What? 
Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. After that, Peter went off the deep end and Bully Maguire came out to play. He pulls up to Harry's crib and this nigga Harry was ready for the smoke, not gonna lie. Man started bragging on how MJ's kiss tasted like strawberry and Bully Maguire was having none of this and they start squabbling. Harry gets a good stab in, but that's hey, nothing to Bully Maguire. So he pulls out some arm blades. Bro. You're not Miguel O'Hara, bro. Put them shits away. Anywho, bro, Peter breaks the blade. And, bro, you cannot tell me that did not hurt. After getting a good hit on Peter, Harry continues bragging. Emo Maguire was not pleased. So they get back to throwing hands. Peter gets his ass back with his own kick and proceeds to brag also. And then this exchange happens. Protected you in high school, now I'm gonna kick your little ass. <sighs> <laughs> These niggas are fucking hilarious, bruh. This man starts ragdolling Harry with punches and throwing his ass everywhere. And they somehow end up in the lab. This nigga Harry grabs what I'm assuming is a high frequency blade or some shit and starts trying to kill this nigga. After hitting the hoverboard, everything turns into pandemonium. Peter gets a final hit on him with the hoverboard and puts Harry down. And then he proceeds to roast this nigga. Boy. You took my daddy from me. <laughs> Stupid little boy, your daddy didn't even love you. Look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry? Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. After putting him down with one last punch, Bully Maguire decides to show mercy. But Harry was having none of it and throws one of the explosives at his ass. But let's not forget, this is still Spider-Man, so he reacts quickly and proceeds to traumatize Harry. Now, you think his rampage would stop here, right? Wrong. Because he decides to go after Eddie Brock next. When he saw there was a picture of him in the black suit that he didn't take. He pulls up to Eddie, who was celebrating, and he's like, hey, nigga, I know you're a fraud. Eddie's like, hey, bro, give me a break. I gotta do what I gotta do, man. And then he attacks this nigga and tells him you want forgiveness get religion and eddie took that personally as we will see in the end he's like hey bro whoever hired this nigga your mom is a hoe because he's a fraud and they proceed to fire eddie dr connors calls him and is like hey bro this symbiote has the ability to heighten aggression and reduce riz to zero meanwhile peter's rizzing up the landlord's daughter this man goes on a complete bender of assholery from terrorizing robert just to get some pictures of him in a black suit to the most famous scene in this spider-man movie ever this nigga dancing on the street this man proceeds to commit the biggest sin known to man. He goes down the street and starts scaring away the hoe. Ladies and gentlemen, imagine walking around with negative riz. That could not be me, bro. I have all the hoes. Anywho, he was dancing on the street like a fucking lunatic, gets a wardrobe change, and does the most famous dance on earth, still scaring the hoes, mind you. The final act of defiance that this man does is what pushed him over the edge to get rid of the symbiote. He gets a new girl and goes to the jazz club that MJ works at. By the way, that new girl is Gwen Stacy. Someone that Eddie has a thing for. And while they're going on their date, Eddie notices. Damn it, I can't believe I just took another fucking L from Peter Parker. I know you want some crack money. Right as they sit down, they call MJ up to go sing. For, for some reason. And Peter sees an opportunity. He goes up and start going ham on the piano. Like, bro, I don't know if the symbiote gave him piano playing skills, but uh, he did a good job. And he proceeds to just go wild. Crazy dance moves, hip thrust, jacket throwing, all of it. He did all of that just to piss MJ off. And after Gwen realizes that, she gets mad and leaves. And the bouncer pulls up to kick this nigga out for his buffoonery. And the bouncer made the mistake of putting his hands on this man. So he starts going ballistic. While he's strangling the bouncer, he's smacking everybody else that comes to try and help away. Like, bro, this man thinks he was in the slap part three. MJ, God bless her soul, pulls up and tries to tell him to stop. But he backhands the shit out of her thinking it was just another one of the guys. And when he realizes what he's done and sees how flabbergasted MJ is on the floor, he's like, okay, bro, this thing has to go. He goes to the top of a church building so he can get rid of the symbiote. Now, remember a couple minutes ago when he told Eddie, if you want forgiveness, get religion? Well, after Eddie saw him going on a date with Gwen Stacy, he took Peter's advice, goes to church, and prays on this nigga's downfall. Man's literally prayed to God to kill Peter Parker. Now, while he's sitting there praying on a nigga's downfall, he hears a strange noise. And like all the white people in horror movies before him, he goes to investigate. Peter is using the giant bell to get rid of the symbiote, and a piece falls on him. He quickly takes his jacket off. But then the rest of the symbiote comes and grabs him as it gets evicted from Peter. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was how we got Venom. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to join the Discord if you enjoy talking about anime, cartoons, and whatever else. Else. Help me out by donating to my dog on me. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.